All right, Video Production One students, we're here to talk about your storyboard project. So I'm gonna go over a little bit about this. Then I'll do some stuff on one of these sheets. If you're not able to print out one of these, you can always draw all of this stuff on your own piece of paper. If you're able to, maybe you end up making something in a digital tool on your own or even um, working on the PDF of this on your computer with the drawing tool. If that works for you, go for it. First, here we go. Create a storyboard for a television commercial. Hopefully you've all seen a television commercial before. Use storyboard sheets like these or software to create a visual plan for a production project and it will have at least six shots. Now you might not be able to go into production on this, who knows about later when we get back to school, but we'll uh, talk about this. Advertise a real or imaginary product or event or service or nonprofit organization. I'd keep it school appropriate, please. We get to use visuals now. We get to use visuals like this guy did to talk about to show your idea. All right, here's the process. First, you have to have an idea, um, and it's a sequence of shots. You're making more than one shot, you're gonna make at least six shots out of this. And you're drawing them as they would appear in a finished motion picture moving project drawing representations of these shots in the storyboard frames to communicate your idea. The storyboard frame is this part. Outlined in a mat, a big black mat. This is where you can put the number of the frame. It requires drawing, yes. Include at least six different camera angles commonly used in the film industry. So if this storyboard sheet has three frames, you're going to need at least two storyboard sheets to accomplish this so that you can have six individual different camera angles. Label the name of the camera angles in the shot portion of the sheet. That's where it says shot right there. This is where you put the name of a camera angle. Have you forgotten what some of the camera angles are? Good thing I included this lifeline right here. Here are a lot of camera angles that are commonly referred to in the industry. Establishing shot all the way down to extreme close up and some others. If you, if you need more of a lifeline about what these shots look like, you can always do an image search in Chrome or Explorer or Safari to find great examples of this. Or you could go back and watch some of the content that I gave you already. Okay, describe what is happening in the frame in the description lines. So whatever's happening in this frame, you get to talk about it. In case I can't understand what your drawing is, you're gonna tell me also what you're trying to depict. There's a typo. It says, write what characters will say on screen in the vocals line in the sheet. Again, there's a place where it says vocals. This is exactly what characters need to say. So that if we get on set and we're using this storyboard, you can refer to the vocals to have 100% the best idea exactly what we need to record. All right, it asks you to make sure about a few things. Coordinate what you drew in the frame with the information you use to describe what we will see. Whatever you draw in the frame right here needs to coordinate with this, where it says shot, medium shot. He drew a medium shot right there. Pretty cool. It asks you to follow the structure that we used in the copy guide. Do you need a lifeline for that? Guess what? Here's the copy guide right here. Hook, product identification, function and advantage, evidence and proof, acquisition, tag. 
Do you need to adhere strictly to that? Probably not as much as you did when we were doing the radio projects. Write the exact dialogue that you want to be recorded. So everything that you want people to say needs to go in the vocals exactly like you want them to say it. You don't just put in there, they say something. Draw details on your characters so the audience can tell them apart. This guy did a pretty good job with that. This character has, looks like, some armor or some chain mail. Other characters look a little bit different. If you can't draw, great. It's okay to be a little bit sketchy in this. Draw props. If someone handles a prop, you want it in your storyboard. If it's important for the story, draw backgrounds in your shots. These ones have some pretty good backgrounds. So we can have some idea of where people are, what's going on around people. So we've got this out of the way. What's it going to look like when you're working on this? Here's a storyboard sheet. You're the storyboard artist. Okay, frame number one, and we need a shot, so I'm going to go refer here. One really safe shot to start out with is an establishing shot. So establishing shot gives the viewer a really good idea of what all is involved in the scene, whether it's the room that people are in, or the outdoor location. Uh, here I'm drawing a city street with a couple of sidewalks. And let's say our main character is walking into the shot. I'm going to start to draw this guy. He's not perfect, but you can see that it's a character. You can see that it's a person. You can see that he has some direction moving into the shot. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of detail so we can tell who this is later on in the storyboard. So I drew an establishing shot. We're labeling what we drew. A man, this is a sentence. A man with a hat enters the intersection. At this point, there are no vocals, but we do hear some outdoor sounds, like some traffic, Some crowd. There we go. Moving on to shot number two. And this shot I want to use a full shot. So, a full shot shows a person from head to toe. And I'm drawing this guy very quickly. It doesn't have to be super great. Maintaining a little bit of detail in between the two shots is a good idea. You can see this guy still has his hat. So if we need to tell him apart from somebody else, that'll be great. It's a full shot because I see his head. I see all the way to the bottom of his feet, but not much else. And you can abbreviate these things too. All these ones show abbreviations you can use. Here's a little bit of detail in the background. I 
hat guy walks with a purpose. Do I know what my commercial is about yet? I'm not exactly sure. I'm more concerned at this point with showing you the process of drawing storyboard frames. So let's start to nail this thing down. This guy says out loud, Wish I had some ice cream. We can hear his footsteps. Is it strange this guy's walking down the center of the street? It might be. So we're gonna keep moving through here. And this one's going to be an interesting shot. This one we're drawing a close up. Still making this pretty basic and simple. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to figure this out now. Look, you can abbreviate close up with CU. Okay, so here we go, this is making sense. Dang, it's closed. Because all these businesses are closed. So this guy, I'm gonna add a little bit more context. Wow, it's hot. So he's walking in the city in the street. He thinks it's hot. He wishes he had some ice cream. The place he wants to buy the ice cream is closed. I think this is going to be a commercial for an ice cream maker or something like that. Anyway, hopefully this gives you an idea of how to get started with this project. Again, I did three frames right there you need to do at least six different camera angles, which is going to necessitate using two of these storyboard sheets. If you have any questions, give me a holler. I would take your time with this. Make sure you're not rushing yourself. Make sure you have an idea that you can develop rather than just putting out something. But keep in mind, I did give you a bunch of lifelines you can look up any one of these online, get a picture of it. You can trace anything that you want to uh, from somebody else's art if you need to. Good luck.